Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. That looks like quite an old lifeboat there. What's it made of? Wood? No, it's a glass reinforced plastic. It's the most common type, actually. Are you sure about that? It doesn't look like it to me. Uh, oh, oh, actually, you might be right. It's uh, aluminium. So what do you think of the new cook, then? Well, this cooking's even worse than my wife's, and that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not sure what we had at lunch. It was like chewing on a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it tasted like wood, too. There was just no flavour in it. I know. I had to put half a bottle of chilli sauce on it to give it some taste. Yeah, if he doesn't improve, I think we should complain. We have a problem. What's wrong? One of the exhaust ports on the starboard engine's overheating. Okay, what do you want to do? I'd like to shut down the starboard engine for a couple of hours so I can make some checks. Alright, let me check with the captain. I will get back to you in a few minutes. Thanks. Glasgow VTS, this is MV Morelia, over. MV Morelia, Glasgow VTS, over. Information, we have problems with electricity on the bridge. Only one radar is working. I require navigational assistance, over. Can you please repeat? Did you say you have problems with your rudder, over? I repeat, we have problems with electricity and only one radar is working. We do not have a problem with the rudder. We require navigational assistance, over. Hiya, I'm from DSD Courier Services. We've been told to deliver a package to the bosun of the MV Morning Star. Oh, right. Are you sure the package isn't for the captain? He left a message saying he was expecting something. Um, it's for W.P. Mitchell. Yes, that's the bosun. Are you sure there's nothing for the captain? Yep, positive. Have you spoken to the new third engineer yet? Yes, he seems like a good guy. Really? I was starting to think he might be depressed or have marriage problems or something. Why do you think that? Uh, well, when I tried to speak to him yesterday, he just reacted like he was deaf or something and completely ignored me. Well, if you were speaking to him too loudly or even shouting at him, he would feel humiliated in public. Men from that culture don't like being spoken to like that. Did you hear what happened with the shipping forecast the other day? Oh, yes, I heard about that. They read out the same shipping forecast two days in a row and nobody noticed. That's right. They predicted Force 9 winds on the one day and then again on the Tuesday. Yes, apparently a large number of vessels stayed in port to avoid the storm because they thought it would last two days, but it only lasted one day. 
Still, it could have been worse. They might have read the same shipping forecast three days in a row before anyone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh yes. Did you notice that new cadet during the drill? You mean how long he took to put on his immersion suit? Yep. I was timing him and he took about six and a half minutes. Yeah. Mind you, he's not the worst. Do you remember the cook who took more than ten minutes? How could I forget? I think that rating will get a bit of a shock when they remind him he needs to be able to don it in two minutes. Yeah, you get the impression it's the first time he's ever worn one. You really wonder just what they're teaching them these days, don't you? Hello, Mr. Lansky. It's Rud Jensen, your crew manager here. Oh, hello. Nice to hear from you. I've got some good news for you. Your promotion to chief officer was confirmed yesterday. You'll join the vessel in a month and relieve the Italian chief officer who's been promoted to master. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to starting. Hello, Mr. Lansky. It's Rud Jensen, your crew manager here. Oh, hello. Nice to hear from you. I've got some good news for you. Your promotion to chief officer was confirmed yesterday. You'll join the vessel in a month and relieve the Italian chief officer who's been promoted to master. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to starting. We can't delay and wait until the weather improves. The grab's lashings parted and it's rolling around the deck. We'll have to secure it now otherwise. All the cargo and deck equipment will be destroyed. Yes, though it's very dangerous. The ship's already rolling heavily and they forecast the storm will continue for at least another day. But we've got no choice, so tell all the deck ratings to get ready to do it now. It's essential they wear waterproof work suits with reflective tape. Also... Check personally that lifelines are rigged and life jackets and safety harnesses are available. I want you to take over from the bosun as the weather's bad and stay in constant radio contact with the bridge. We can't delay and wait until the weather improves. The grab's lashings parted and it's rolling around the deck. We'll have to secure it now otherwise. All the cargo and deck equipment will be destroyed. Yes, though it's very dangerous. The ship's already rolling heavily and they forecast the storm will continue for at least a... You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now, floating around in places like Hawaii, South America, and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago, and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying. How are things? Don't ask. You know that new cadet? What? The one whose English is quite weak? Yeah, that one. Well, you know, last week we painted the bulkhead in the accommodation area. I told him just to paint one door in the accommodation. And then I check it. And if his work was okay, 
I was going to let him paint the ceiling. You can't imagine what happened. When I turned up there, he'd painted the whole deck in the corridor. So now nobody can get in or out of their cabins until the paint dries. Oh, no! We're going to have to teach him a few basic English words, aren't we? How are things? Don't ask. You know that new cadet? What? The one whose English is quite weak? Yeah, that one. Well, you know, last week we painted the bulkhead in the accommodation area. I told him just to paint one door in the accommodation. And then I'd check it. And if his work was okay, I was going to let him paint the ceiling. You can't imagine what happened. When I turned up there, he'd painted the whole deck in the corridor. So now nobody can get in or out of their cabins until the paint dries. Oh, no! We're going to have to teach him a few basic English words, aren't we? It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. I don't know what's going on in that galley. Yes, I don't think that cook is going to last long. Did you hear what happened this morning? No, what? Well, somehow the toaster caught fire, which set the alarms off. He wasn't around at the time. Then they found him in his cabin drinking whiskey. He said he was just having a small shot for his toothache. Well, I got him smoking on deck the other morning, and he just threw his cigarette butt onto the deck, without even putting it out. I think they're replacing him at the next port. I don't know what's going on in that galley. Yes, I don't think that cook is going to last long. Did you hear what happened this morning? No, what? Well, somehow the toaster caught fire, which set the alarms off. He wasn't around at the time. Then they found him in his cabin drinking whiskey. He said he was just having a small sh Look, we've had nothing but problems with this trip. We had delays with Port State Control in Mozambique, who detained us for one day for no real reason. Then we had that problem with suspected pirates off Madagascar. Not to mention those two stowaways who managed to get on board in Nigeria. So it's not our fault we're not going to be arriving on time in Namibia. Why didn't the safety officer keep a record of all the accidents?
Why didn't the safety officer keep a record of all the accidents? How long does the smoke float last for? Have you checked the leak? Who's fallen overboard? How did he manage to fall when there was a safety net? I am reporting a large floating container adrift in position 2.7 nautical miles east of Bostar Island. I am reporting a large floating container adrift in position 2.7 nautical miles east of I think the number of worldwide pirate attacks dropped to about 283 this year. I think the number of worldwide pirate attacks dropped to about 283 this year. We will reduce speed 1.5 miles from the harbour entrance. The vessel on fire is 215 miles off the South African coast. The vessel on fire is 215 miles off the South African coast. There's a distress alert on Channel 70.